what's up everybody back here another taste test of some brazil nuts Probably these are very good for you um i was actually in walmart in the next town over i very rarely go there just over that way uh, checking on one of my stores for my clothing brands i'll be at the second and third link in bio i don't know what that was but second third link in bio if uh, you want to check those out but i'm going to try these brazil nuts the, uh, what they're talking about. This is just the, uh, you know, Walmart brand, basically. It's a little Walmart logo. So it just says uh, raw Brazil nuts, not organic things. So we got another little. Let's get a smell test of this real quick. One. Yo, that smells super good. Damn, what does that remind me of? That reminds me of something, dude. Almost like a candy apple, I think that's what I'm thinking of. Like caramel. Or, uh. Y'all know the popcorn that's covered in caramel? Cracker Jacks? I think that's what it's called. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells like those Cracker Jacks. Popcorn covered in, uh. Caramel. I used to eat that all the time when I was younger. And, you know what I'm saying? My dad used to eat that all the time when I was a kid. Alright, anyway, so what we're gonna do, yeah, these smell great. I'm gonna weigh out 17 grams because I weigh everything I eat. I track everything I eat. And I'm cutting two, which I still do when I'm bulking, but let's see here. I'll give y'all the macros on the back here in just a second. Alright, 17 grams. This is what 17 grams looks like. Here, this would be a lot simpler if I was to do this. Check this out. Here's 17 grams. Alright, so here we go. Pretty damn big nut, if I do say so myself. I got some skin action on some of them, some of them don't. So there's no salt or anything on these, it's raw. Here we go. Kind of almost getting like some sunflower seed vibes. Ooh, so the, the, the taste is already, it was a one taste. Switch to the sunflower seeds, now it's changing again. Alright, let me get two this time, see if I can describe them better. Very bland so far. Here comes the taste. Still pretty mild. Here comes the sunflower seed taste. I'll show the second train. Oh, there it goes. That aftertaste. Very weird aftertaste. Not bad by any means, just different. Alright, so I'm going to say very, um, really a lot reminds me of sunflower seeds. I remember back when we used to play baseball with kids, we always had the sunflower seeds, and you break them open, and then you eat the little seed out in the middle of it. Really reminds me of that. So it's very bland, very bland. 
comes up, sunflower seed, sunflower seed, and it has like a different, well, I guess it's kind of the same aftertaste. That first one really kind of switched on me a lot. Um, so, uh, first off, I say overall, okay, what I do, what I get these thumbs up, okay. Um, I gotta do some research though. I don't know if like nuts need to be organic or if that makes them like better or not necessarily because there's some foods you can eat that, that don't need to be organic and there's a list of foods that you need to eat only organic if you're going to eat it um but you see here it's raw that's one thing i really want to like point out to the ingredients only brazil nuts man that auto focus is working really nicely so only brazil nuts you don't want to see cottonseed oil canola oil all these garbage processed oils, you don't want to see that in the nuts you buy, okay? So any kind of nuts you buy, if you see that, put it down, look for a raw variation. Or if you can find one with just, like the pistachios I get, um, with the wonderful brand, when I get the low sodium, so, and even the regular kind, it's just pistachios and sea salt. That's it. That's what you, that's the most you want to see, basically. No garbage oils, so. If I get some nuts and it's got garbage oils, I don't get them because I put them, I look, pick them up and say, okay, I'm not ingesting that. Horrible for you, those uh, processed oils. So, all right, let's go over the macros real quick. So, taste test, I will say yes. So, it's very good to constantly rotate your foods around. So, you know, constantly eat pistachios, almonds, uh, pumpkin seeds, uh, walnuts. You know, so, I'm constantly switching my fat sources like uh, nuts are a very, very uh, healthy fat source for you. So, you know, if I'm whenever I'm over that way, I'm like, okay, I want to switch in some Brazil nuts now. I'll definitely switch them in. Um, now, decent taste wise, I'm not gonna say like these are absolutely delicious. Like, I absolutely love walnuts and I absolutely love pistachios, dude. Like, delicious. Like, just look forward to eating those. Basically, like, they're absolutely freaking amazing. This. I don't think it's, it's not on that level, but it's still definitely good as like, um, really you know, the, the pumpkin seeds that eat are very good as well. It's just not quite on that next level. Um, like if we were ranking like the pistachios would be S tier rank. Walnuts would be like, you know what I'm saying, the A rank on the tier. And uh, we'd go down from there. But uh, you know, it's probably a good B rank along with like uh, cashews and uh, almonds and stuff like that it just depends a lot of time on the mood you know how good if like oh you're really craving some almonds or really craving some uh i heard something recently saying cashews aren't good to eat so i need to do some more research on that um but so uh macros here per 28 grams this has a lot of fat in this serving's uh like per serving 19 grams of fat pistachios only has 13 grams of fat so this is a lot more of a fatty of a uh, nut so 19 grams of fat, 180 calories. You got uh, three grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. You have four grams of protein, no vitamin D, 4% calcium, 4% iron, 4% potassium. So, ingredients thumb up. You know, that's basic nut. You know, macros in the back. Just want to give those to you. Um, and I have heard a while back, I know like macadamia nuts are supposed to be super, super, super good for you. Brazil nuts was in that uh, category. Um, I just heard recently like how pistachios specifically are very, very good for you as well. Again, I can get my nut uh, research game up, you know, but I mean, I know they're healthy for you, but I need to look into like, you know, it should be the organic as well. But that's it. Definitely thumbs up. Definitely gonna throw these in here. Actually, the aftertaste that I'm talking it's quite nice it's, um, again nothing like crazy well, not that next level like a pistachio taste or anything but still very good I'm going to enjoy eating these last three that's it for the video my brother's got some uh, Batman boxes on I would show y'all but I don't I want to keep this PG oh <laughs> not really Batman they're just black and they got little neon it basically looks like the Batman logo color scheme Anyway, that's it for the video. See y'all next one. Hope y'all enjoy it. If you got any foods you want me to taste test, comment down below. Um, you can do unhealthy ones, but generally I do healthy ones. I do have done some unhealthy ones here and there. Um, like I just got like a, a you know, here I popped this up, the Oreo ice cream cake for my birthday. So you now I went ahead and did that for y'all. You know, get that out there for the world to uh, you know see what's that taste test like. So generally healthy things though, but still if not healthy, you can still put that down there. That's it for the video. Appreciate y'all watching. I got a ton of herbal teas and I got a ton of taste test videos out there and I continue to do it always more. So anyway, see y'all in the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy. Go make y'all some gains.
I'll make y'all some gains, some health gains. I'll make y'all some diet changes gains. I'm gonna help you, Chris. See y'all next one. Peace out.